Dear students, I welcome all of you in the another session of Transportation Engineering. So we have discussed about uh, highway planning, DPM, detailed project report, economic study, financial study, engineering studies, and traffic or road studies. Now, whenever we are discussing about the highway planning and alignment survey, the new word that comes into existence is the highway alignment. Now, what is this highway alignment? So, let us learn about that. See, that is also called as road alignment. Let us learn the definition first. What is the definition? The position of the, what I can say, see, you can see the center line, various kind of digits are marked over here. So the position of layout of center line of the highway on the ground is called as road alignment. The position or the of the layout of the center line on the highway. See this is this thing. This is the position or layout of the center line on the highway. This is this thing is called as highway alignment. This is highway alignment. See, if this is the road, then this is called as the highway alignment. There are two types of alignment. First is called as horizontal alignment and second one is called as vertical alignment. Horizontal alignment means whenever traveling in the linear direction, the horizontal alignment includes straight paths. It includes, it includes various kind of straight curves also. And sometimes the horizontal deviations or horizontal deviators. Alignment is the thing based on which the road is placed over the ground. So the center line should be adequate. If the center line is not adequate, then new alignment is to be constructed, new road is to be constructed, and there will be many minus points, many issues will be there. So road alignment means it is the position of the layout of the center line on the highway of the ground. Now vertical alignment involves vertical curve that includes the summit curves and valley curves. This kind of curves and this kind of curves on the road that is called as summit and valley curves. It is it also involves the slope of the road that is called as gradient of the road. Now we know that whenever we are learning a new topic First, we learn the what, answer of what, then why and then how. We all learned that what is road alignment, what are the types. Now we learn why it is required. If this alignment is not placed adequately, then it will increase the construction cost because it will require it to be constructed once again. It will also increase the maintenance cost. It will also increase the vehicle operation cost because the vehicles which are traveling on this direction will have to travel from another road due to the construction of the road and due to that the vehicle operational cost will be increased or if wrong alignment is there then the vehicle will have to suffer from discomfort and the operational cost will be increased and this improper alignment is there if improper alignment is there then it will also increase the accident rate so this is the importance of road alignment now there are requirements of good alignment so there is a method to remember this that is called as S square E square where the S stands for safe, another S stands for short, E stands for easy and another E stands for economic. Now let us discuss about safe, short, easy and economic or economic. If we discuss about the short alignment, then which is the short alignment? See, this is the place A and this is the place B. If I have to reach from this, if I have to reach from this place to this place, which is the shortest route? Many routes. This can be one of the routes. This can also be one of the routes. Say this is first route, this is second route. This is third route. Which is the shortest route? Yes, the third route is the shortest. So it can be said that the shortest route is the straight route or the straight route is the shortest route. It is desirable to have a short alignment, short route between the, what I can say, between the 
two terminals because the straight alignment would be the shortest it would be the easiest it would be the less time consuming and it would be the cheapest also so the time will be saved the cost will be saved comfortability will be there and it would be easy for one person to reach from one terminal to another terminal if the alignment is short then the another requirement is about safe now safe is all about whenever alignment is to be constructed it should be safe in construction also it should be safe in maintenance also and it should have the safe geometric features means the side distance should be safe the widening of the pavement should be so provided that it is safer for the pedestrian for the vehicle movers for the laborers who are working on the site so it should be safe the so short and safe is that then the e stands for easy easy means it should be easy to construct also it should be easy to maintain also and it should have the minimum problem fine and the last one is about economic as we all know that as an engineer we are hired in any company for reduction of the price or the cost if as an engineer if you do not provide any suggestion or solution that contributes in the reduction of price then there is no use of hiring an engineer so economic means it should have minimum construction cost and minimum maintenance cost so there are four major requirements of a good alignment a good alignment is the one which is safe which is short which is easy and which is economic s square e square safe short easy and economic now one of the most important thing one of the most important topics now the, this particular segment is called as factor separating road alignment see this is having multiple things to be remembered so there is a shortcut method p a t e l l c or i can say g o m c p a t e l l g o m c p e a t e l l g o m c this t p stands for proper drainage A stands for availability of construction material. T stands for traffic. E stands for environmental factors. Then L stands for low grade and easy curves. Then this L stands for low grade and easy curves. Then this L stands for land acquisition. This G stands for geological features. This O stands for obligatory points. M stands for miscellaneous, and C for crossing. Don't get confused. I repeat twice. First is proper drainage. Then A stands for availability of construction materials. Then P stands for traffic. L stands for land acquisition. L stands for low grade and easy curves. This E stands for environmental factors. You can also call it as economic factors. because you can either write environment or economic factor i will narrate both the things g stands for geological features o stands for obligatory points then this m stands for miscellaneous and d stands for crossing proper drainage availability of construction material then traffic then economic factors or environmental factors you can remember anything you want to know We want to write L stands for land acquisition, L stands for low grade and easy curves, G stands for geological features, M stands for miscellaneous, and T stands for crossing. Let us learn all the things one by one. It is easy to remember, so don't worry. So let us discuss all the things one by one. The first is about proper drainage. Now the proper drainage means whenever we are placing the road alignment, proper drainage availability should be there. Sub surface drainage and surface drainage should be there. 
So, in order to provide proper drainage, the high flood levels should be studied. The water level at the ground should also be studied. The surface and subsurface water level should also be studied. So, this is the first point that stands for P. Then the second point A is about availability of construction material. The highway site should be so selected that all the materials such as broken stones, pure stones, gravels, sand, cement, all those material are available in the nearer vicinity of the area. So that there will be minimum carting problems on the particular site. So there should be proper availability of the materials such as stone, gravel, sand etc. There should be minimum carting problems. Carting problems means to cart one thing, one thing from one place to another. Then the P stands for traffic. Okay. Traffic means the alignment should be so proposed that it should suit the tra it should shoot the suit the traffic condition or traffic requirements of the particular area. In order to learn that, we need to conduct origin and destination study, desire lines are to be plotted and future pattern of the traffic should also be studied so that okay uh, in last 10 years this is the traffic pattern it is this is how it is being increased so in next 10 years it would be like this so this is how it should be estimated and this is how traffic parameters should be studied then the fourth parameter is about economic parameter economic factors means the initial cost construction cost and maintenance cost should be reduced and if you are writing about environmental factor then the environment should be so that it should suitable to the highway alignment it should not be too lesser or greater than the temperature variation should be less so it is about economic factor then the another criteria is about land acquisition now land acquisition is very necessary without acquiring the land without acquiring the land we will never able, never able to construct any highway. But if the land that we are going to acquire is passing through high populated area or if it is in what I can say cultivated area then people will not allocate their lands though how much concession they are being provided by the government. So these are the most difficult part of all the factors is about land acquisition. So before the initiation of the highway designing and planning and alignment, the problems of land acquisition should be solved. Fine? So that it would cost or it would result in the minimum cost and minimum time consumption. As this is the most time consuming parameter. Then low grades and easy cows. Sometimes it happens that we are not able to provide straight roads because the current condition is like this. In that kind of condition, we have to provide the roads like this. Now what we can do is, this is the cutting part, this is road. So this material which is excavated from here can be used at the next part where it is to be filled so that there will be minimum cost of material borrowing or material purchasing from the market. So the material which is already excavated should only be used while filling the material and it should be low grade and the cow should be easy, it should not be, cow should be like this, it should not be like this. This kind of steep cows will introduce more number of accidents. Now the another thing is about geological features. So the highway alignment should be proposed in such location that, that there should be minimum geological issues such as landslides should not be there, then stability of soil should be there. So these are the parameters that are to be studied. Then O is about obligatory points that I will narrate in detail. Then comes about miscellaneous. Miscellaneous stands for number of things. Miscellaneous means number of parameters which are being included. Miscellaneous means it should not, the alignment should not pass from any of the foreign territories. 
it should if it is the long it is having higher in length and it is spread then a minimum band should be introduced like this then it should have the proper study of climatic condition of the area where it is to be provided it should not be provided from very much high populated area it should also be not provided where the low lying areas are like this if the area is like this then it should be avoided if possible so this is how miscellaneous meals about and the last thing is about crossing so if river crossing is there on the particular path or on the way of alignment river crossing is there canal crossing is there road crossing is there then this crossing should be properly studied and the alignment should be so provided that there are minimum issues of the cost of the safety and comfortability should not be compromised so this is about factors affecting what are these factors affecting road alignment P stands for proper drainage, A stands for availability of construction material, T stands for traffic, E stands for economic factor, L stands for land acquisition, L stands for low air and easy cows, G stands for geological features, O is remaining to be done, I will narrate in the next slide because it requires a proper amount of time and understanding. Obligatory points, M stands for miscellaneous and C stands for crossing. What it? See, out of all the factors like P, A, T, E, L, L, G, O, M, C, we are all that proper damage should be there, availability of construction material should be there, then what I can say, traffic should be there, economic factors should be studied, low grade and easy curves, then L stands for land acquisitions, then G stands for uh, geological features, O stands for obligatory points, M stands for miscellaneous, and C stands for crossing. We have discussed all those points, we just we have not discussed about obligatory points because obligatory points is a topic that plays an important role. Now, O stands for obligatory points. Now, let us learn the definition first. Obligatory points means means those points that decide that whether the alignment should pass or not. So these are known as the controlling points which govern the highway alignment. Obligatory points decide that whether the alignment should pass this location or not. So these are the points, these are the controlling or governing points. They are of two types, two categories. First is about the points that through which the alignment should pass. Now, which are those locations through which the alignment should pass? So, those places or those, uh, what I can say, points include bridge side, the bridge, from bridge side the alignment should pass, the road should be there. Then, if important town or city is there, then it should pass from the important town and city. Then, if any kind of uh, mountainous area is there, then it should pass from here. So, there are two, three places or many like this, such as bridge site. then important town or city and mountain pass just like this there are some other points also through which the alignment should never pass the road alignment should never pass which are those points the alignment should never pass from any of the religious places such as temple mosque grave tomb etc it should never pass from any of the monumental places like Taj Mahal or Red Fort or any kind of places. Alignment should not pass in between from the Taj Mahal. There cannot be a provision of road from Taj Mahal in between the Taj Mahal. It should not pass from the valley area as it is dangerous. So, which are those locations through which the alignment should not pass? They are religious places, valley and monumental places. 
So now you have learned all the things proper drainage, availability of construction material, then traffic, then economy factor, then low grade and easy curves, then land acquisition, then geographical features, obligatory points also. These are the points that govern the highway alignment. Then miscellaneous and crossing. So this was all about the road alignment, its types and factors of it. Understood the concept thoroughly? Repeat this thing once again, write down, prepare your own notes. Thank you so much.